North Carolina has long embraced its reputation as the first in flight state. 100 years after Orville and Wilbur Wright took to the skies and killed Devil Hills, a new breed of high-flying enthusiasts are making waves on the Outer Banks. What's up, buddy? What's good with you, man? Just got back to Hatteras. Oh, BP. What up? What's happening, buddy? We're coming up with this idea to make a documentary that shows the state of kiteboarding today. What it is, where it's come from, where it's going, and what it's going to take to get it there. Something needs to happen, you know, because all these riders they don't have a clue where, where they're going, you know, like they're just, okay, okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. Yep, uh, okay, no problem. Make a money and it's just one big f Triple S has made kiteboarding what it is today. What we have all done needs to be on film and put into a story. I think it's got other freestyle PKRA riders like starting to look at this as legit rather than just a phase or a fad. We're into the board sport as a whole. In my opinion, it's just boring. You know, I can't really call the end of the cable wakeboarding because there is no wake. Like imagine we get like some rail shots in wakeboarding kind of, you know? New wind, new cable, new boat, a kite. It's all wakeboarding. It's not just an action-packed kite video, it's going to be telling a story and documenting the whole thing at the highest production level there is. You well, know, you got to film the f out of it. You need like a Billabong Odyssey style, big, epic feature doc that puts kite surfing on the map. We talk about it loads and we just need to come together and make it happen. We've all got to the stage now where it's time to let the world know. It's a very rad idea and we do need to educate the people to let them know how our sport is going and how it went, you know. 